our core program is our afternoon drop-in that runs from 1.30 to 4 o'clock, four days a week. And what that is is the chance for people to come in and get a little bite to eat and some coffee. Uh, but more than that, it's a chance for people to come in and, uh, and be a part of something, be a part of a community. We've also got our sharing circle, which I think is one of our most special programs. We've been running that for close to two years now. And that's a, a time for, for sharing and prayer and smudging. And just some of the things that are shared in that circle are, are truly incredible, uh, both in terms of joyful things that are shared, in terms of things that are, that are sorrowful and full of despair. But it's created this really special community. I have grown close to a lot of people that access the sharing circle. And being Indigenous, um, it, it helps me stay in touch with my culture and my tradition. It's changed my life because people depend on me and to come set up for Sharing Circle and to be a part of this, this community. We do a food bank, we do an emergency food pantry where people can come from time to time and claim a, sort of a small amount of groceries, but it's enough to get them, get them through another day. We are transformed, I think, as soon as we make our circle bigger. We just see life as a, just that much bigger and it's just so much more meaningful. Uh, without mission and service funding, people, would, people who are coming here and finding a community and a place to belong would be alone and on the streets. They would be completely alone and hungry. And uh, this neighborhood would be a whole lot worse off without it. It's uh, it's just it's reconciliation in action and it's it's just happening very naturally and very beautifully and yeah, it's, some, it's something special and I just sometimes some days I wish we could just bring the whole church down here to, to be a part of it you know <laughs>